Okay, so you'll see that we are going to be doing including and excluding parks today. This is part of your construction, part of your workbook. You'll see that I've written down including and excluding. Next to including, I've written down a subtraction sign, and next to excluding, I've written down a addition sign. So when we include, we minus, and when we exclude, we plus. So I want you to remember this. You will also see that I've drawn two circles on the paper, one with a radius of 20 and one with a radius of 10. So these um, circles, I need you to refer to as a certain radius. So here we are referring to R20 as radius 1, and we are referring to R10 as radius 2. This is just to make things easier for you. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to construct an arc with a radius of 70 millimeters, all right, and it needs to exclude both of the circles, okay. So we are excluding. Okay, I hope you can see this. So what that means is we're going to take this radius, okay, and we're just going to call it R, radius of R. So because we're excluding, what we're going to do is we're going to take our radius. So our sum will be radius 1 plus radius equals and then we'll get our answer. So we're going to write the value of radius 1, which will be 20 plus 70, because that is our radius, and that gives us a radius of 90. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a radius of 90, okay, and I want you to draw a little bow on your page like that, all right? Then we are going to do the second sum, so we're going to have a radius of 2, so R2 plus R. We're obviously going to take the radius, so that will be 10 plus 70, which will give us 80. And then you're going to take 80 on your compass, like this, and you are going to make a radius like this. Okay. And then when you've done that, you're going to take your radius of 70. All right. You're going to put your compass on the mark that you've made over here. And you're going to draw your line to exclude the circles. So it will look like this. Mine's not touching my circle here because I think I drew it a lot smaller than it was supposed to be. So just make sure your circles are correct. And that is one exclude that we are going to do. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to draw the next circles and then we are going to do an including example. Okay, sorry, let me just adjust the brightness for you guys. All right. Okay, so now we've got our two circles and again we're going to construct another arc except this time we're going to construct an including arc with a radius of 70 millimeters once again. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you can't well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find this radius. So here they've given us the diameter. So we know the radius will be 25. All right. So once we've got both our radiuses, we're obviously going to continue. But you can't say 25 minus 70 because you can end up in the negatives. So you have to say radius minus R1 will give us. And then here we'll obviously say radius minus R2 will give us. So here we've got our radius. 70, all right, we're going to say minus 25 will give us 45, and then over here we will have our radius of 70 once again, so we'll say 70 minus 20 will give us a radius of 50. Okay, so once you've got those two measurements, or those two lines of your measurements, you're going to get it on your compass, so we are going to start by getting 45, which is over here, and we are going to draw an arc like this over here, all right, just like that. And then we are also going to get our mark of 50, our measurement of 50 for this one over here. So we are going to measure 50 right over there, where they both intersect. All right, and then once you've done that, you are going to grab again your radius of 70, you are going to stick it on the points over here and you are going to construct 
your exclude which will be this over here i mean your include sorry not your exclude this will be your include okay so basically that's all it is it's a basic rule and if you get two circles so say you get a circle here and a circle here and they say to you you've got to exclude circle a and include circle b all you're going to do is you're going to do this formula depending on which one so if you're excluding you'll obviously do the r one plus r formula and if you're including you'll obviously say r minus r1 again you'll get your arcs so say you've got one arc that ends up over here and another arc that ends up over here and then your line will end up like that or the other way around or whatever okay so it's pretty pretty easy this is just a brief explanation for you guys because it is really easy and i know you guys will get it really quickly so i hope this helped you